just want to do this because it's fun. Whoa. Welcome back, guys. Um, it's been a while since uh, I've had an update on the uh, Subaru Vanagon, the 1985 uh, Westie that we're putting a uh, EJ25 uh, Subaru engine into. Um, this week we're going to cover uh, a fuel tank replacement. So um, upon inspection while we're doing the front end on this this guy, um, notice some flaking, so some rust on the um, fuel tank. So we got a new one and we're going to install it. Here's the rust I was talking about, the flaking. Um, you can see that it's, it, you know, it's not causing a leak on the fuel tank, but this is definitely something to be concerned about. And this is kind of how this van has been. The frame has been fantastic. It's all the accessory stuff. So this, this fuel tank um, is rusty. And you can see it's pretty squishy. You know, it's not leaking, so it probably, and it, could potentially last for a little longer but we're gonna go ahead and replace it anyway so contrast the old fuel tank with the new one just got from bus depot I've already put in the fill in neck seal as well as the uh, expansion tank breather o-rings seals and also have a new crossover crossover deal there and She's a beauty. So we're gonna go ahead and install this brand new tank. First thing, I'm just gonna drain the tank. And the tank is pretty low. You don't wanna do this on a full tank. All right, next, while that's draining, we're going to undo the support brackets. These guys. So I'm just gonna loosen them up. Uh, there are two 13 millimeter bolts. One right here, and then one right there for the support bracket. The tank is finally done draining, and what I'm going to do is actually disconnect the return line right there. And I have my jack ready with the jack stands, and I've actually already undone the bolts that hold the front end here so those are loose and disconnected but you can see um, the weight of the tank in the back with these little pinch holds kind of holds the weight of the tank so uh, when I'm ready to start shifting the tank around I'll uh, jack it up slightly and um, pull these braces out and that'll make it so that the tank can come out. Before we do that though, i um, going to remove the filler neck or at least get it loose. So it's going to require unbolting or disconnecting here and disconnecting all in here. So I've sprayed all the rubber connections that I can get to with some penetrating oil. All right, so um, the filler tube um, is going to be a little tricky just because these are these screws are totally rusted solid, and so they're starting to strip out. I got one of them out, but the others are done. I did get the bypass, the overflow out. Just pulled it out. Um, I couldn't get the um, the crossover T right here undone or on the other side so I'm gonna be replacing this stuff anyway so I just um, snip the line right here and I'll probably end up doing the same with this breather line as well but um, next up <laughs> I need to try and get these screws out so that's that's the project I think we're gonna try and do uh, an easy out with these Ended up uh, just drilling out the um, two stuck screws. The easy out didn't work at all. <laughs> and uh, plugged up the filler tank because I don't want to fill in neck because I don't want to mess with it. But getting shavings in there. 
did uh, get my little magnetic tool and made sure to place it near where I was drilling, so minimize shavings. So now we can take this off and get the filler neck out, which will, at that point, make the gas tank just ready to plop out. I didn't show it earlier, but I was able to get the uh, mounting brackets or support bars for the fuel tank out. And um, I'm gonna be painting those to match the tank. So now, now we're pretty much ready to come out. And I kinda just wanna do this because it's fun. Whoa. All right, this is the method I like to employ. <laughs> Knees under, <laughs> and you kinda just lower it down. And you can see we have the uh, fuel level um, sender here. We need to disconnect that. And then everything else is just gonna come undone. So I need two hands, so <laughs> I'm gonna set you down for a minute. All right, there we go. Here we have the top of the tank and you can see the sucker is about to go. I mean, could last for a little longer, but man, look at all this crazy rust. It's everywhere. And these guys were on the brink. So crusty. So I would be surprised if um, didn't start smelling gas from the vapors pretty soon here, had we not gotten this replaced. Pretty gnarly. Looking forward to having some nice shiny stuff going in. Have the support brackets here. Just gonna clean them up a little bit. I decided to coat the supports in undercoating versus just painting them silver. Um, I think it'll hold up better. And then next up, while we're waiting for those to dry, we're going to take the fuel level sending unit off and also take some measurements on these breather hoses and get some hose cut for those and installed in the new tank. I decided to get a new uh, tank sending unit as the old one uh, it looked kind of crummy and it also wasn't very smooth in the uh, ohm readout when I tested it so I've got a new one from Van Cafe and just gonna get that installed and yeah, new o-ring so that just kind of slips in there and spins, but I gotta get a tool to uh, spin that down. We're just about ready to install. Have all the um, vacuum or the breather lines on, and uh, the crossover pipe I left undone on one side, and this is to work over all of the shifter linkage, um, heater hoses, things like that, because they go in this tunnel right here. So this needs to kind of flex over and above all that as we're installing and then this will then pop in and these will actually work out to uh, the expansion tanks it's tricky to get the um, the vent tubes all lined up right but once you kind of get it in there um, it'll kind of rest like that um, Make sure to plug in the fuel gauge sending unit because that would be a bummer if you forgot to do that. Um, it's possible you might be able to reach through the tunnel there, but save yourself some trouble. <laughs> in any case, I put a little bit of rubber, some rubber pads, as you can see right there, on the uh, support bars. And I'm getting ready to just um, uh, bolt those back in. And, uh, and then connect up all the fuel lines and the uh, fuel filler over here. Managed to get the uh, breather hoses all together and the uh, filler tube in. Uh, don't forget the uh, overflow. And uh, also managed to drill out those junky screws all rusted tight and uh, get some different ones in there. So here she is, all installed and looking good. 
Thanks for watching the uh, gas tank install. Um, I've only done a couple of these, so this was a good uh, recap for me as well. Um, pretty simple job, you know. I just hate the smell of gas, so <laughs> kind of uh, kind of tough. But other than that, you know, pretty simple. Um, if you have to deal with rust, just make sure everything's all soaked in penetrating oil, and um, and you know. Just a few vacuum hoses or breather hoses uh, and uh, fuel lines, and you're good to go. So uh, enjoy and good luck in your project, and we'll see you next time.